Good morning, guys. We are slowly packing. Journey really needs a nap. It's probably, what, 2 o'clock? What time is it? 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock, rock. 5, 6, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, rock. Okay, Google. What time is it? <laughs> it's 1.27. Well, close enough. Anyway, I am trying to get us all packed. So I've been, I'm trying to pack Journey and I in this big suitcase. So I went ahead and I took the diapers out. I had her diaper. These are my son's boxers. <laughs> um, I had these items in there. So I just moved them over to here. They're probably not going to stay in the suitcase. I'm going to try to see if I can maybe lay some of them on top. I don't know. I still need a couple more pants. I've got all my shirts and then my pajamas and then... Um, I think two pairs of pants. I only have like four pair of jeans I rotate anyway, so <laughs> there's two. And I'm wearing one, so. <clears throat> so I got two, three, four, five, six. I think I have six shirts. I've got one in the wash that I want to take. And I'm probably going to travel. Probably going to travel just in this red t-shirt so it's you know cozy and then I've got bits for journey her spit up rags um, some of her one piece long sleeve sets some bottoms some jackets for her this is oh I made this like a couple years ago and it's in size 6 to 12 months so we're gonna have journey wear that She's trying to open that part. And I've got like a few nightgowns, um, a pair of pajamas, and then I think eight sleepers. And then I've got her clothes, her little outfits, and then I got um, her little hooded towels and her washcloths so are over there. So I'm trying to pack me and Journey to save space. And then we got journey spoons. And we got two pa extra passies. I did purple that way. We know we have both purple ones with us. She's got like six pairs of socks. I need to find her more socks. Um, we got, I think, three pairs of shoes. Do you want to leave this one here? Yeah. No, she's carrying that one. Okay. With her. Oh. But I want to show. So these. Journey's got really tiny feet. She wears like size one. <laughs> but she can finally fit into these, which Clara sent her. And she's taking her little mouse outfit. So we're going to take these. They're so cute. For whatever reason, my whole camera was on manual focus. So we got those shoes. She can finally fit into those. And these, um, Marla sent her. So she can finally fit into those. And then she's got these ones, which I bought before I was ever pregnant or having a girl, but, um, we were the reborn. yeah, I just think they're so cute. So, look at those. We got her desitin. We got her hair bows. She put a and dirty one in her mouth. <laughs> That's so. why you make sure you don't have dirty pants. And then her nose, Frida, and her spoons. And her brush is somewhere in there. But anyway, I'm going down my list. I'm trying to get everything packed. Or as much as I can get packed and then pack up whatever needs to be that I miss tomorrow. So I made a list. Um, her shampoo will be one of the last things since we use it daily. Um, right now I'm looking for, I have baby Tylenol and then I have Sterling's medicine. Um, I'll pack those somewhere together because um, one time when we were in Michigan, Sterling ended up getting sick and nobody had any children's Tylenol or Motrin. And I, and I know you were running a, a high fever. And I had to leave at like 3 o'clock in the morning to go to the store to buy it. So now I make sure we always carry like that with us so that don't ever happen. Then we have to carry Journey's sippy cup. So 
Anyway, I'm going to continue packing. I'm trying to pack all my my necklaces and earrings and stuff that I like to wear with different shirts. That's what we're doing right now. Hey guys, it is now much, 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 much later in the day. I totally lost my camera for like half the day. Turns out you were in Journey's Bassinet, which got a dock top put on top of it, so. What are you doing? Are you watching Papa? Up there, get him. Can you waving? She's looking at mine. Over here. Look at him out there. I don't think she sees him out there. But we saw a spider and we saw a rabbit. I like the rabbit. I don't care about a spider. <laughs> She's looking at my hand. He looks so sleepy. You gonna give her a bath night before? Yeah. Look at all them ant hills. You need to do something about that. You go pee on them? Hey guys! It has been a crazy day. First of all, Journey refuses to nap. I don't know what it is. But today, yesterday too, um, well, see, yesterday she did take a nice nap in the morning. It lasted maybe an hour or so. And then um, she normally gets up, and usually after an hour, maybe an hour and a half to two hours after she's been up, she takes her morning nap. And her morning nap will either last, I'd say, maybe 45 minutes or up to two hours depending on she has one long nap it'll either be her first nap or her second nap it will either be her long nap so I never know which one it's going to be um but yesterday she just took that one long nap and she would not nap after that in the evening nothing and then when my husband came home he sat with her she slept for probably two hours right up until bedtime and then you know she went back to sleep so I don't know if she's maybe adjusting her schedule to something else and uh, I mean I don't know so today she fought her nap forever it was after three o'clock when she finally went down for a nap and that nap lasted about 20 to 30 minutes and then she was up so then she was up for a little bit and got really crabby I did feed her some prunes um, She's been having a little bit of a constipation issue. Not really constipated, it's just she'll poop, but she's pooping like little nuggets, TMI, but, um, and she'll always <coughs> grunt, so. Um, I fed her a thing of prunes, and then um, she just sat and played for a little while and got really fussy again. And I was like, that's it, I'm taking you to the bedroom. So I laid down with her, and she was out within probably, I don't know, five minutes. So she did take another maybe 30 to 45 minute nap, and that's, you know, when my husband came home and stuff. So um, we were just trying to get everything ready for our trip. He just packed his bag. I'm still packing my bag. I was looking for the Tylenol for the longest time I found it. It was in the drawer. I had to clean out the drawer to find it, though. But that's a good reason, a good way to clean your house if you know if you're looking for something can't find it and you dig through a dirty drawer and you're like yeah what's all this stuff doing in here so cleaned it all out um, trying to mentally prepare and trying to get everything you know together so you don't forget anything a list is come in so handy because I'm like as long as I know I stick to this list and I've got everything checked off I didn't forget anything which also reminds me gotta make sure I bring my little dosing chart for journey which actually I don't really need the chart I could just write it she would be um, 2.5 ml she weighs 15 pounds so yeah I'll just write that on the bottle so I know right now we're just in 
the full swing of packing so today's vlog is probably gonna suck I don't know I might uh, work on something here in a minute I still have the to embroider out that shirt and yeah right now I'm trying to edit a bunch of vlogs <coughs> so you all have something to watch um I think I might be helping myself by taking Zycam I can't say that my cold is going away but it feels like it's not as like you know when you get the stuff running down your throat I don't have any of that anymore I just have more of like just a funny sounding voice and every once in a while I get a tickle where I got a cough but anyway I will check in in a little bit hey guys I am now downstairs excuse my voice it's totally getting a horsey <laughs> oh, that's not a horse I have no idea <laughs> anyway I am going to attempt to make my own like neck pillow for the ride um yeah I just don't know what kind of fabric I'm going to use as you see here let me move this I'll show you guys I've got lots of fabric I got fabric everywhere fabric oh this is I never did show um but this is what I was talking about when I was making the little labels for the drawers so my plan is to get another set of drawers over here take care of all this mess I got going on just kind of clean up around here and I thought if I had these just like this up here and I can um these are mainly like the fabrics I use for applique um, these used to be the fabrics I would use to make the corsets and stuff out of, but now I don't really make a lot of corsets, so we've got lots of fabric. A lot of them are just like characters and stuff, but then I do have some solids, our prints, like here and throughout here. I just really need to clean, like, so bad, but let me find a fabric to make my Okay, guys, so I picked this out. I did find this minky when it's used for Journey's blanket, and I thought, oh, that'd be nice, you know, to have a soft side, but I honestly don't know how, <laughs> how I'm making this yet. My idea was just to get a piece of fabric and then cut it kind of like a toilet seat, you know what I mean? And then sew it and then stuff it. So that's probably what I'm going to do, and this just wouldn't be big enough, or maybe it would. Let's see. I don't know. We will. If I can make it work, I might be able to. I mean, I don't want it that big. I want it kind of small, um, but not too small. I just want it. I'm basically going to put it in front of my neck, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And, you know, to lay your prop your head up. So I thought if I cut like this, yeah, this will be long enough. So I might do one side this and one side that I'll probably cut both sides of the other one just in case this minky stuff don't turn out for me maybe it will all right I'm just going to do this um, cut it or some of the cut this edge off like honestly I don't know what I'm doing I did have Sterling's little neck pillow. I don't know where she put it though. And I was like, oh, I'll just use that as my pattern. You know, just lay it down and kind of just follow that but make it a little bit bigger. But now I think I'm just cut. So 
so now I'm just going to turn this the right side. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to make this more perfect, I would have pinned and all that other stuff. But I'm just doing it for me, so we'll see. It might not turn out. It's awful skinny. <laughs> Actually, I think it might be actually perfect for my neck. Now, I am going to um, stuff it. I've actually, what I did was, I bought one of these pillows. You guys can't see very good. But, you know, just one of these cheap pillows. This pillow was, what, $2.49 or something? I actually was going to buy a little small travel pillow and use it for the stuffing, but that small travel pillow was $3.49. My and husband's was like, just buy one of those other ones. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this thing up. Ta-da! Look at all that. <laughs> and now I'm just going to use some of this batting. And... No, 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 no. Stuff my pillow. So my plan is that I will use it like this, or like this, <laughs> or like this. So hopefully, hopefully it'll do it's do me some good. <laughs> now I'm gonna. Th I think I'm going to make another. Like just little travel pillow. of where I am sitting the seat I'm sitting in the middle seat I'm making me a butt cushion I just bought these two things at the Dollar Tree and I wanted more padding than just one so I'm gonna sew these two things facing each other together Where the sun, sun, go to Move it around a little. 
to be, but I think that'll be pretty good. I still haven't decided how to take these things I guess I could tie this one with seat belts um, on each side. So I'll probably go around there and walk up there. So it won't slide when I'm sitting on it. I don't know. Anyway, I think that's all the projects I'm going to work on down here. 